the Georgia Bulldogs. Kirby Smart doing his thing. They are going to have to reload a little more than they are used to this season, but I feel like they finally got their quarterback. I feel like second year under offense coordinator Todd Munkin. I think this is going to be good. Their win total sits at 10.5 to go over. Is minus 140 to go under is plus 110. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going over, over the 10 and a half. Like, I, I really think that this team, I think they're going to beat Clemson in week one. I think they are going to roll through the schedule uh, when I'm looking at it. Like, they lost to Florida last year and it was ugly. I think they are going to be looking for revenge in this spot. Uh, this is JT Daniels and Todd Munkin's team. Uh, without George Pickens, there's still plenty of receiving talent. I don't think it matters. They brought in... Former LSU tight end Gilbert, uh, they're running him at wide receiver. Like it's, they got a plethora of weapons on that side of the ball. Now, even after losing six NFL draft picks on defense, Dan Lanning's defense is still going to be fantastic. Like they have got studs. They are the number one most talented team in the country per the recruiting rankings. They got dudes everywhere. And on top of that, on defense, the only question really on defense was the secondary. So, why don't you just go ahead and bring in West Virginia's best secondary player, Tyke Smith, and you bring in Clemson transfer, former five-star, former a, uh, uh, excuse me, all-ACC guy, Darion Kendrick. Like, they short up everything. Like, I think if Georgia's going to do it, this is going to be the year. I, I think they go undefeated in the regular season. I know that you are not a Kirby Smart fan, nope. and I'm, I'm not a big fan of the coaching either, but I think that he's got two coaches – that he doesn't have to be involved in the game day stuff. But he's still involved in the game day stuff. If you if you showed me footage of him sitting on the sidelines and letting those guys coach, I'd believe you. Yeah. But how do you lose to teams like South Carolina? You get involved. You yeah. get Kirby gets involved. Yeah. I, what's, I the think pri- what's the price? Uh to go over is minus one forty. To go under is plus one ten. Yeah, I'll go under and I'll take the plus one ten. Da, da, da. I need him to lose. You need him to lose two games two in games. the regular season. And the and in this schedule, you've got Clemson. Play, they have to play Clemson. They have to play Auburn. They have to play Florida. You know, and then the rest of the SEC, yeah. which you assume they're going to beat. But once again, we make assumptions about this team all the time. And that's you're not wrong. You're not wrong. We will move on from there. And this one is one. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.